G'day everybody, Matt from Lawn Pond, get your lawn on back at the school. One week today since we've put down the soil, it's coming back very, very well. So it's been a really hot week. We've kept the water up to it uh, uh, one hour every day. We need to now smooth in some of this excess top dress, which I'll do with a soil spreader. Then after that, we'll get to it with the swordman and use the rotary brush smooth it in a bit and then we'll put down our moist with the BA pumps and sprayers greenskeeper and then we'll put in some four seasons and then we'll water it in deeply as you can see it's coming through here this is a bit heavy why I went heavy was because this area was like totally rutted out you can see here that just needs to be swept in, flattened out. So you can see the difference of that compared to that, which we didn't do. So there's a little bit of seeding here. But the seeds are coming from the Kaikuya plant. Silver things there. What I'll do today with this area is I'll give it a mow with the swordman just to knock those seed heads a bit. This area here we just want it looking good as we can for the students that come back next week for school. This area will still need a little bit of time to uh, settle in but uh, hopefully shouldn't be too far off the mark. Mow this area here as rutted and terrible as it is and then next week I'll look to be putting down some Oh, something like uh, plant growth regulated. I want to keep those seed heads down, obviously, and PGR will help that. And I'll also control the growth of this area because now it's starting to warm up here in Port Augusta. It's now becoming uh, quite a task to get to mow this. So, all right, I should stop yabbering and get mowing. Well, I'm certainly learning a lot about commercial mowing considering I'm using domestic products. So I'm using the Swordman here and I'll tell you what, this Swordman is probably the most thrash Swordman in Australia and it's doing it really well. Um, I had a little bit of issue with the Verticut last week because it was really thick. Look, I'm giving an absolute thrashing and it just seems to be battling on. That heavy top dress, that was because I had lots of ruts and everything and uh, I just wanted to pop it up with a bit more soil. So hence some of it's crusted up and I'm just getting it a little bit more into the profile here. So after I'm sanding down I got to it with the Swordman with the rotary brush and it's quite a messy job but it really pushes that soil and, and sand into the profile that bit more, flattens it everything out. And uh, a nice after effect of it, believe it or not, I, I could see some lines after I did my work. So that was fantastic. After the rotary brush of the swarbin, that's come up really, really nice. Got lines in it and everything. So good. You know, I had a few people saying that, uh, no, nah, this is nowhere near going to be ready when the school gets back, and that's uh, a week from today. I don't know. It's looking pretty good to me. All right. A lot of work getting to this point using this baby. This is seriously going to make me one very, very happy man. That's our moist, Just agitate there, that'll mix it all in, see, agitate, turn it on, mix that in. So it's a lot of hard work getting to this point and 
I've been hanging out for using this thing here. Uh, the weather's great. There's not much wind. It's like 20 degrees. And the sun's just coming out. Nice. So I'm going to put down moist down this area. It's going to be rock and roll. treatment at the school using the BA Group Australia Green Keeper Sprayer. So that 10 times really fast. I was really excited to use it because now I'm starting to get into that mode where all the hard work's done and I'm getting into doing treatments and just looking after the lawn rather than lots of digging which makes you very sore at the end of the day. But uh, I really appreciate this product. It's just so easy to use and it's going to make my treatment so much easier. Thank you BA Group Australia. If you've got that big yard of like 300 square meters or more, you want to look at this product. Go to www.bagroupaustralia.com.au and check them out. I love this camera. I want this camera. We're not having it. So then after putting the moist soil wetter down, we put the four seasons down, then we watered that in. And school's back in a week from today, so this is going to be an absolute cracker. So it's a busy week this week for the school project. Tomorrow being Tuesday, that will be organising the uh, turf and some more soil because we're going to need some. Wednesday I'm going to be at Reese Irrigation in Adelaide, picking up all the irrigation needs. Thursday and Friday being the 10th and the 11th is when I really do need some help. So if you're about at Port Augusta, uh, come to the school. Anything from 9am right through till about 7pm will be working. 12th of October I'll be down at Stratco at St Mary's from about 10.30 to 1.30pm. Uh, come down and say g'day. And then on the 13th, hopefully all going well, we'll be installing the turf and uh, that will be from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning right through to when we need to finish. So if you want to come down and give us a hand, you're quite welcome to. So recapping, 10th, 11th and 13th uh, down at the school uh, for a hand, anything from like 9 o'clock in the morning through to 7pm. Get your lawn on. It's going to be a big job there.